Gentle waves lap the Barnegat Bay shoreline as the sun peeks out from the eastern horizon. Lifelong fisherman Matt Gregg is on his way to work, checking on oyster beds in a protected and undeveloped location at the southernmost part of the bay. Gregg is an oyster farmer. He runs 40 North Oysters out of Mantelokan. Looking for a site to grow oysters, um, this is uh, near perfect. We have a uh, a, basically a sandy cove. Um, we have marsh on both sides, so it's somewhat protected. Um, then the bottom is, is sandy. It's a hard bottom, so it's easy for us to walk on, and our gear doesn't sink into the substrate. Though his business is relatively small, Greg is fulfilling a dream that he's had for a long time. Growing a product that is sustainable creates jobs and can identify with the history of the Jersey Shore. We have about a half a million oysters in the water right now. Um, we have a very high demand. That one's ready to go. The other size of oyster farms, uh, I'd say a half a million is small. Um, so we're trying to get our numbers up. Um, of course, that takes time so that we can take on more demand or meet more demand. Greg seeded his first beds in 2011, enduring a difficult and challenging state permitting process. One year later, on October 25th, 40 North sold its first oysters to a local distributor. But just four days after that first sale, Hurricane Sandy slammed the coast, destroyed his boat, and covered his oysters with mud. Almost all of his oysters died, but not his spirit. It was painstaking to start over, but he did. This time with the help of a veteran and New York restaurateur who helped him get back in the water. So far, we've had a very positive feedback on um, the oysters that we're growing. Uh, a lot of chefs and restaurant owners are saying that they're fantastic. Um, some of them have even said that they're the best oysters they've ever had. Currently, 40 North sells to about a dozen hand-picked accounts from Long Beach Island to Morristown. You know, it gives us um, uh, incentive to want to keep growing more and, uh, you know, continue to get more positive feedback. Greg has tried other lines of work away from the water, including a nine to five office job. He's discovered that even with tough weather and the labor intensive work that comes with farming oysters, the desk life is just not for him. Before I did this, I worked, I commuted to Manhattan, worked in the city uh, in an office and dreamt about being here all day long. So. Um, yeah, I love it. Uh, I love the, the seasons. I love the change in temperature. Um, and I love watching my oysters grow. 